Okay, everyone. <clears throat> we are here with the Wednesday homework. Okay, so this is going to be Wednesday where you have to reread and answer the questions one through three. Okay, so we've been reading this um, passage of paper art. And then uh, we will go through and answer or we will go through and you will answer questions one, two, and three. And then we'll be doing these two math math problems and we'll go over those in a minute. Okay, so um, getting started with paper art. So let's go ahead and read through this. Remember, as I am reading and you are listening to the video, you should be reading with me as well, okay? Paper was invented in China by a man named Tsai Lun, who stated in an, un, in an official document that he invented paper invented paper in the year AD 105. Now it is thought oops, ah, that thought that paper was actually invented two years earlier. The early paper of China was made from a plant called hemp about 500 years later. The people of Korea and Japan learned how to make paper. This art then spread to all the parts of the world. Origami is the Japanese art of folding squares of paper to make things. The folded objects are used for decorations. The word origami comes from the Japanese word ori, which means fold, and kami, which means paper. In Japan, a crane is thought to be a sacred bird. Some people believe that if a person folds a thousand cranes, he or she will have a, a wish come true. Kirigami is the Japanese art of folding and cutting paper. It is used to make objects for decoration. The word kirigami comes from the Japanese word kiri, which means to cut, and kami, which means paper. This art began in China in the 6th century and then spread to Japan. Decoupage is the art of using paper cutouts to decorate other things. Different papers are glued onto another surface. Decoupage comes from the French word decoupure, which means to cut out. Paper mache is an art form that uses strips of paper and paste to form works of art. Paper mache is a French word that means chewed paper. <clears throat> paper mache can be used to make simple things like masks or more elaborate things like puppets or piñatas. Okay, so you are rereading and answering questions one through three. So question one says, in what country was paper first invented? A, China, B, France, C, Japan, D, Korea. Number two, what is the name for the Japanese art of paper folding? F, decoupage, G, kirigami, H, origami, I, paper mache. Number three, what is the meaning of the word elaborate as used below? Paper mache can be used to make simple things like masks or more elaborate things like puppets or piñatas. So what does that word elaborate mean? Complicated, be flashy, C, plain. D, simple. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a hint. Okay. Paper mache can be used to make simple things like masks. Or, or, okay, or they're giving you another example. Okay. So I don't think it would be simple because they already mentioned simple uh, here. So I think that it would be any one of those three. Okay, so those are clues and hints that you should be paying attention to. So um, it'll help you kind of narrow down your answer choices. Okay, then we're going to go on to, you have two questions today for math. Um, and you're probably thinking, oh, wow, only two questions. Okay, but you have to do a lot with these two questions. Okay, so the, que the question says, is this statement true or false? Okay, so that's the first part of what you're supposed to do. So number one, identify whether it is true or false. Okay. <clears throat> and then it says, explain why 
and you need to do four to six sentences, explain how you got your answer and show your work, okay? Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and take a look at this problem. Obviously, it's a greater than less than uh, equality, equality, um, equate, not e uh, equation, but uh, problem. Okay, so remember when we do this, we are going from left to right and we're gonna compare the numbers. Okay, so one and one, you can't compare those. Zero and zero, you can't compare those either. Two and two, no, those can't be compared. Three and three, nope. And six and seven. Yes, absolutely, we can compare six and we can compare seven. Okay, so which one has more so the 10 there's more tens so this is going to go this way okay so it says 102,365 is less than okay because look at that's an l less than 102,375 okay but we're not done you have to explain how you got your answer. And here's where your explanation is going to go. Four to six sentences is what you need. Okay, for the next one. Is this statement true or false? Okay, so they're asking you again to identify whether that statement is true or false. And you have to explain it in four to six sentences and how you solved it. Okay, so once again, just like we did in the top one, you're going to go ahead and compare the numbers and um, write in whatever is it greater than or less than and explain how you got your answer. Okay, that is all that you are doing for tonight's homework, Wednesday.